My life was turned upside down a year ago. I was awoken to police officers outside of my home. They told me that my husband had been arrested on suspicion of kidnapping and possible rape. I was shocked. I thought, this can't be true. You have the wrong person. The detectives told me that young women were sedated and sexually assaulted. And they said Bonnie fit the description in the car. They found leg restraints, handcuffs, zip ties, nylons, and syringes. The medical stuff, he said that it was just left over from the night before, which made sense. He worked in a hospital. I asked him why they found restraints or the women's nylons, and he suggested that they were for me. But I'm not into bondage and those type of things, so that did make me feel weird. I just kept saying to myself, this can't be happening. Lonnie and I were married for 15 years. It scares me that if they do have the right guy, I laid next to him in bed and had a family with him. Lonnie never showed me any signs of any kind of hate towards women. We have two daughters together, and he was the best dad since he's been gone. The girls don't want to talk about their dad being in jail. There was some teasing for my son at school. It's hard to think that somebody who you've been with for half of your life could at all be accused of something so heinous. All right, Carrie, I I'm glad to meet you, but I'm sorry for the circumstance. We always talk about hindsight being 2020. As you now look back, do you see things now that didn't register with you at the time? Honestly, sorry, my voice. That's right. Um, honestly, the things that I did see and find, he was having an affair, and I found out about that in like October of 11. Right. And the things I found, I always thought were for her. So as far as seeing this, no, no, absolutely not. Now, he's been arrested, he's been indicted, he's pled not guilty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we have to treat these as allegations because he's not been convicted of it. Right. I wrote some things down for us to look at. You found some things in the home at yes. the time. They were in paper bags in two different locations, correct? Yeah. Yes. Well, you found zip ties. Mm -hmm. You asked him about it, and he says, these are for the bushes around the pool. Yeah, that it was just for the pool. You found ladies' nylons, not yours. Um, and he said that they were for you. Right. Were they still in wrappers? No. He says these are for you. Right. So what he did is he's saying, I bought these, unwrapped them, wadded them up, stuck them in a paper bag with zip ties and yeah. put them behind the dryer and... Well, the dryer was, yeah, at his, um, he had an apartment for about five months. Right. And, um, and so, yeah, they were hidden there. He knew I was being snooping, like I was snooping. And so he said that he put those there um, because he knew I was going to find them. And so, yeah. And, and then you mm -hmm. found syringes. Mm -hmm. I did, yeah. And he says these were left over from his job as a physician's assistant. Right, which he worked nights at that particular hospital where he probably would have had access to those meds. And so it didn't seem weird. It wasn't like he had a hammer or something with him. It was, you know, he's not a carpenter. He wouldn't have had that. But the, um, <clears throat> the syringes didn't seem super weird. But however, when I did find those things, I did say, you know, to myself, I thought, well, maybe he's using the, the needles for his own personal use. You know, he works a lot. Maybe he's depressed. One medication I found was something with a, um, like, it, like when I Googled it, it said something about, like, um, depression or something. So maybe, you know, he was shooting up because he was depressed. I don't know. I mean, nothing. But you found was, medication. Mm -hmm, yeah, a couple times I found vials of meds, too, in his car. But I thought, okay, he, he works. I mean, it's just, I mean, it, again, it, I didn't think it would be that weird to have, you know, medication because he's in a hospital. So, you know, he goes into a room, pulls that out of his, you know, coat and, you know, shoots, you know, puts whatever medication into the syringe and gives the person, you know, medication. It didn't seem that weird. It wasn't that far-fetched. Yeah. To me. Doesn't, yeah, of course. But you, you've never worked in a hospital. No. <laughs> yeah, because that's not how <laughs> yeah. that, that's not yeah. how that works. They, yeah, I don't know. I don't. Well, it, because you, really, you don't know. And I, mm -hmm. I don't want to make light of that because... Now, we look at it in this context, and it seems more obvious or, or yeah. more noteworthy. Right. But at the time, I, I can understand how it might not. 